Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is actually going to be a requested video from you all who watched my previous video about how to use a chip bag markup over on Canva.com. Now, this is the way that I have figured out how to make my own chip bag markup. It may not be the easiest way to do it, but it's the way that I learned how to do it without having to purchase Photoshop or even sit down and try to figure out how to use Photoshop right now. So if you're interested in learning how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, welcome. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when I post more videos. And don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment down below if you found this video helpful or any party ideas you would like for me to possibly make for my next video. It, you want to go to lunapic.com. Lunapic is an online free editing software. All right, once you're at lunapic.com, you just want to go up and open up a new tab and run a Google search and search for chip bag markup. So once you're on Google, you want to search for chip bag markup. We're going to be looking for a markup that has a pretty plain chip bag design. And we're also going to need the chip bag itself and the background to be completely different colors. So like for instance here, this background is gray and the chip bag is yellow, but this chip bag design has a lot of writing. So this would be a little harder to work with. This one right here, the background and the chip bag color are too similar, so we don't want to work with that one. Let's just keep scrolling down. Again here, the background and the chip bags, is the colors are too similar. So let's keep scrolling and see what we can find. All right, here's a good one. The background is a gray color and the chip bag is plain. And the majority of the chip bag is green. Let's use this one. Saving your images in Google, you have two options. You either can right click and save the image onto your computer, or you can open the image in a new Windows tab and copy the link. Once you have your image saved or you copy the image link, you can go back to Lunapic you either can upload your image if you saved it on your computer, or you can input the image link. Once your image has uploaded, you will see it here. Now, our goal is to make the entire inside of this chip bag transparent. How we do that, is Lunapic has a transparent tool. If you go up to edit, you scroll all the way down to transparent background. See, it says make image background transparent. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on any box inside of the chip bag, the green section. As you can see, that box became transparent, but we want to make all of the green section transparent. To fix this, you go up to mode, you click here, and you're gonna select transparent color. You click apply. Well, before you click apply, it's gonna give you a preview of how it looks. As you can see, more of the section is transparent, but we want it to be more. To fix this, you go up to more transparency and you just keep increasing the transparency. As you can see, more has changed, but we still have some green in there. Let's go all the way up. Okay, that was too much. Okay, let's see how it looks. So at 34, it looks great. 
this is what we want now we still have some white lines in there but we can go back and fix this so this looks good so we're going to click apply now this is how our chip bag is looking so far you really can't tell but it still has those white lines in there in order to fix that we can go off to the side and select the eraser so once the eraser tool is selected now we can see those white lines better so what we're going to do we're going to go in and we're going to start erasing these lines and to do this you just right click and it start erasing you can make your eraser bigger by scrolling up to the top not that but this is you can make it bigger you can make it smaller and this is the larger it goes Quick tip, while racing, if you accidentally do something like this, no worries, you can just scroll down and click the undo tab. All right, everything looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna click apply changes. Now, as you can see, now our chip bag is now transparent. The only thing I want to change is the background color the background is this gray color and for making your markups you want like a white background so to change this I'm gonna go over to the color tab it's called the eyedrop color picker I'm gonna click that I'm gonna select my background again I'm going to click on replace color and it says new color you click here and you select the new color that you want I'm going to select white and I'm going to click OK right, once you select your new color you're going to click your background again And you're going to select apply color now your background is white from there we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we want to save this onto our computer now when your image saves on your computer it is a white background and it is transparent so when it saves it's going to look like there's nothing there but the image is here you want to make sure you save it under a name that you can easily find all right so i'm gonna just do a quick test over in canva to see how the markup turned out so what i did i just opened up a blank canvas a regular um sheet of paper landscape and i'm can i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna upload that photo of that markup now this is where naming your markup something that you can easily find comes in handy because it's going to be kind of hard to see i'm going to click upload I'm going to select the name that I saved my markup on it and I'm going to click open. As you can see, 
you see that outline you can see it from here so what I want to do is I'm going to select my canvas and I want to change this a different color just so I can see what I'm doing now I'm going to add my markup to my page now as you can see the outline is transparent so I'm going to use this Alex in Wonderland design that I made to make this markup. So I'm going to clip out my sides here. And I'm going to put this over my markup. I'm going to select the position tab and I'm going to push it backward. Okay, I'm going to see how it looks. If it looks kind of off, I can like increase that. If it's still not looking right, I can just start over. I'm going to click the markup itself, click position and push it backwards. And it's going to release this and I can just reshape this some more. Center it some more. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks fairly decent. So I'm going to group all this together. I'm going to select group. And now this is all one piece. Now to make the back, all I gotta do is select the markup again, move it over. Group it together. I'm going to change my background back white. And there you have it. It's pretty decent. You know, it's a good starting point. But that's the way you can make your own markup. Guys, I hope you all found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, please drop them down in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.